If you're a fan of Word Wall, you're going to love what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you a trick that allows you to create one game and then make multiple different games from that one set of content. And I'm not only going to show you one trick, but I'm going to show you two really good tricks that are going to save you a lot of time. Now, if you don't know WordWall, there's a video that completely introduces WordWall on the screen now that you can click on. Otherwise, if you already know WordWall, learn this trick because it's going to save you a lot of time. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it. Please share it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'd love to know what you think of this idea in the comments. Let's get started. So let me show you quickly what I'm going to do. I'm going to create an activity. And what we're going to do for this is a really simple one. I'm going to click on match up. And what I'm going to do is match basically a country and its capital. So I'm going to write, for example, Spain. And then I'm going to write the capital Madrid. Now I'm not going to carry on doing this. I'm going to just click on item and I'm going to carry on and then I'll come back to the video. So I've done a total of seven different countries with their um, capital cities and I've also given it the title countries and capitals and I'm going to save that game so I'm going to click on done. So that game is now saved but this is what I'm going to do. Let's just quickly play that game and see how it works. Watch this. So the game's really simple. All we have to do is drag the word into the right country. Very, very simple. Nothing more complicated than that. And the game is obviously a drag and drop activity. However, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to completely change that for another type of game. So I'm going to click on show all. So I've got these templates here. Let me just show you that. It says switch template. I'm going to click on show all and show you all the different games that I can make. And for this one, the one that I'm going to choose is going to be um, matching pairs. So I'm going to click here and now it's made a completely different activity. Let me just show you that new activity. So if we click here, now you see that the game is played like this. It's a completely different game. And if I just wait a second then I can start. So I've now got Ireland and then Dublin. Well, that was very good. I got the first one right straight away. Now what I'm going to do now that I've created this new game is I'm going to save it. So what I do is click on edit content and click on duplicate. And I'm now going to call this one countries and capitals card pairs so that I've actually just created a completely new game. Don't forget again to click on done. So now from one game, I've got two games. Now I'm going to take that idea even further. Now I'm going to come over again to my templates. I'm going to click on show all. And the one I'm going to use this time is called find the match. So I'm going to click on find the match. It creates a completely new game. Remember, it's always a good idea to come over and immediately to duplicate the new game and obviously retitle it. So I'm going to come over here and it's going to be called, this one's going to be called Countries and Capitals. And this one is going to be conclude Choose um, the right one, for example. But I'm also going to make this a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to add a few more countries. Let me just fill that in while I stop the video. So I've added some new countries and then I'm going to click on done. So this time, not oh, I've actually, sorry, I've already duplicated that one. So that's fine. I'll just take that out. So this time I've added now a total or if you've got more games and what I'm also going to do, I'm just going to actually come back to the edit the content because I've made this game slightly more difficult. I'm going to choose that as countries and ch choose the right one. And I'm going to call this level two. And this is another thing that I do is that I often duplicate games, then change a few things and then make them slightly higher level. So now we've got a new game. We can play the new game here. And this one, what happens is that the words come along and you have to choose the correct uh, country that goes with the capital city. So we've created a new game, but this one is a slightly higher level. Now I'm going to show you another brilliant time saving technique that we can use if we want to take the content of a game, change the game completely, but then increase the content. Watch this little trick that I'm going to do now. 
Super quick break from the video just to say if you like this video and you want more videos like this, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. You've got loads of technologies here across the top of the screen and also on the front page, some of the most popular ones. And if you want to follow my work, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest videos, the latest blogs, the online courses, the webinars. And also at the moment, if you sign up, there is a 12 part free video course on using technology in teaching. Okay, let's get back to the video. For example, I could take this game here now. Okay, again, come over to show all, choose a completely different game. And what I'm gonna do this time is do the game show. So I'm gonna use game show quiz. So let's look at how the game show quiz works. <laughs> So you can see how the game works. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna again save this, but I might, just before I save it, I'm gonna edit it. So I'm gonna click here, duplicate. And we've got about 12 questions already. And what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna duplicate an answer. So we've got two with the same answer, but simply I'm gonna change this now to Moscow and I'm just gonna write the correct answer in as Moscow. And now that is correct. And I could do that again. I can duplicate the answer. And again, we've got the same options, but this time I'm gonna change that to Warsaw. And I can do this and really speed up again the uh, way that I create the questions for the activities. Now I've got 14 questions. So again, a lovely technique if you want to speed up the creation of these activities. And obviously I'd already up, increased the level of that now to level three. And this is a great way of saving yourself time. Okay, really hope you found that video useful. It's a really great trick. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free content, a special section on language learning. And if you want to follow my work, as I said before, sign up to the newsletter. You get the free 12-part course on using technology in language teaching. Of course, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the bell if you want some updates on all the latest videos. And if you were thinking of organizing some training with me, either at a conference or with your institution, then you can contact me from the website. And thank you very much. And I'm going to add a few more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.